Hello guys and uh, welcome to our tutorial. Um, this will be a quick tutorial because I have to go to sleep. As you can see, it's at 10.45 and I've got work tomorrow at 5 o'clock. So I have to put up this tutorial before uh, you guys um, start losing patience. Anyway, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you, I'm going to show, introduce you to cameras. Okay? There's three types of cameras that Maya has for us. You can get to the cameras by actually quick clicking on this um, shortcut and this will give you a standard uh, Maya camera that you can use, okay? Or you can actually have a, a choice of these three. Just go to create, cameras, then cameras. You've got uh, camera, camera and aim, camera aim and up. Okay, these are self-explanatory. Click on the ca normal camera, that's a normal standard uh, Maya camera. You can uh, move it out of view and um, play with it but right now we can't see exactly what's going on because uh, we have we haven't assigned any of these windows to what the camera is looking at and to be able to assign the, one of these windows to what the camera is looking at we have to go to panel perspective then camera okay that way we'll be able to see what the camera is looking at as you can see now that's uh, our first camera our second camera we can uh, get to it using the same method, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you a trick to get to the next camera. Just, uh, what the hell did I do? Um, rendering, come on. Um, just make sure the camera is selected and just go to your attributes. Okay, you've got uh, camera attributes up here, camera attri attributes, then you can just change to camera and aim. Camera and aim is like uh, a camera with a manipulator, okay? You've got your camera with a manipulator. So to get to the manipulator sometimes it's a bit... To get to the manipulator, just click on it, move it to wherever you want to focus on to, your, your aim, then you can move your camera, then you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. Right now it's focused on the eye, but if... Um, if I go into the um, perspective view, just move it into the center of the robot face and uh, do that, you'll be able to actually focus on the face like that. That's our second camera. Now our third camera would we'll just do the same, we'll just change it from here. Camera aim and up. It's like camera um, with the manipulator tool sort of. And you've got the app. The app is different. This one you can go sideways as well. Okay, so you can have a camera facing that way. Then you'll be able to actually manipulate the camera differently. But this uh, to use the camera um, camera aim and up, you need to get used to it, guys. It's not the easiest camera to use. You need to get used to it. Now, uh, now um, the cameras in Maya basically mimic the 35 millimeter real life camera. So if you have something like a focal length, you're going to have a 35 millimeter focal length. So what that focal length means is how long it is, how long the lens actually is. Is it a wide angle lens or is it a telephoto? Now notice how the uh, focal length and the angle of view are connected on here. These two, they're connected. Um, so the longer the lens, the narrower the angle of view. Let me show you what I mean. The longer the lens, the uh, sm uh, the smaller, the narrower or the smaller the angle of view. The sh the shorter the lens, the lo the bigger the angle of view. So, for example, if I if I have um, something as big as <clears throat> okay, right now I've got a focal length of two point five. I've got one hundred and sixty four uh, degree view. But if I've got something as big as um one hundred and thirty five. 35 millimeter lens um, I'll have 15 degree angle view so what that what that means is um, what so what that means for you is um, that the longer the lens the less the perspective in the scene so this is this kind of um, flattens the scene out so <clears throat> bear that in mind if we scroll down and you've got um, far clip plane. Far clip plane is uh, pretty much um, how far your camera or how far or how close your camera can go 
before the scene disappears, before the scene is out of uh, out of out of view. So let's um bring it to something as uh, right now it's on ten thousand, but okay, let me go ahead and um, just put change the camera to camera and aim, which is just a. Sorry guys, I'm just turn off my alarm. Um, now, jeez, I'm even, I've even lost, what, what am I doing? Um, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate this. Bear with me guys, bear with me, it's supposed to be quick to try you. Um, yeah, so if we, uh, far clip plane is how the distance before your scene actually goes out of, out of view. So, um, if I bring, right now it's on 10,000, but if I bring it, um, to 10, look, um, look at this view. If I bring it to 10, you won't see anything because, yeah, you won't see anything. But if I bring it to some, if I bring it to 100, you will see the view. <clears throat> when I bring it to 100, you zoom out, you can see it doesn't render anything more. So if you've got a, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys, if you've got this here, if you've got 100 and you zoom out, see, zoom out, after a certain distance, it just drops out of view. You can't see anything. Okay? Um, so it means you, it's like, you get the idea, guys, self-explanatory. It's, it's a distance before the view gets out of sight. So this can be really... Um, it's 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 like a rendering trick. It's good for um, effects and uh, stuff like that. We'll we'll use this trick later, but I just want you guys to know that it's there. Now, if we um, again, if we scroll down, you've got um, film back. Film back. You've got the film gate here. You can change it to whatever. Let's say if you've got a, a real life um, real life footage that you uh, you've actually filmed, whether it's in a sixteen millimeter th uh, theoretical. Um, the theatrical or it's an IMAX you can actually match it up with your Maya scene so that you this is there you can use that if you want to match it match up your uh, real-life camera with virtual cameras in Maya and just seen in Maya match it up blend it in together in IMAX or whatever it is you want, you want to blend it into and um, you've got your um, film aspect ratios that you can uh, play around with fit resol resolution gate <coughs> this is the these are all stuff that you can play around with, self-explanatory. Um, play around with them and uh, see how they work. Um, let me just scroll down. Scroll down. And again, we've got all these um, mentor ray um, stuff. Just hold on, wait for my laptop to, f to finish scrolling down. You've got your mentor ray um, stuff that you can uh, play around with. You, uh, <coughs> depth of field. Depth of field is another thing that we're going to look at. We'll, it's um, the next topic. I'll teach you in the next topic. That's how it is. And um, you've got your output settings. Output settings. Um, you, you can say, oh, you want the. Ma um, let me just uh, go into this view. Select the camera. You can say, oh, you want a mask around, you've got one image. This, this output settings, pretty much. Okay, these are output settings. Environment. Environment, we, we did this one before, like if you want to change the background to whatever it is that you want to change it to, you, you can change it, okay? <clears throat> you can change the background to whatever it is you want to change it to, so that's pretty much what it is and um, image plane image plane 
again uh, we've done this before is this if we uh, click on create it's the same as going to um, view image plane import image okay that's how it is that's how this is so um, special effects <coughs> drinking coke at night is not good special effect you can mess around with the shutter angle and this is pretty good for uh, depth of field as well you know it's uh, it affects your depth of field depending on your shutter angle so yeah just bear that in mind and we'll learn that more we'll learn more about that one later um, display options again guys let me not waste too much of your time this this, this is just um, normal stuff you've got a uh, display film gate you've got your film gate around it you've got your display resolution that you can play around with whether it's a uh, 640 by 480 blah 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 so I just want you guys to see to see what um, you've got your big gate mask color if you want to put it gray red green blue yellow it's up to you it's up to how you're feeling um, uh, what how you're feeling at the time but yeah play around with these uh, options in your own time and uh, yeah get used to them and advance the next tutorial because in the next um, soon we'll start putting all these cameras and all this lighting into a into a scene render it and uh, see how that works out so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys and uh, some dude or not not a girl but I'm sure it's a guy who doesn't like my video in the next tutorial so if you can see this um, it's like hundred percent thumbs down and if I need to make it I'll make it guys just tell me what what I, what I did wrong and I will redo the video. I'll, I'm happy. I'm more than happy to remake the video. If you don't like it, I'll tell me what's wrong with it. So don't comment. <laughs> Send me an uh, an inbox. So yeah, I, I'll re I'll really appreciate that. So yeah, thank you very much for your time, guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.